What's up, everyone? It is your girl, JLP87 here, aka Grace, and today we're gonna try out a face full of dupes. So, the difference with this face full of dupes, though, is I'm going to try out dupes that other creators say are dupes, and then we're gonna see are they really dupes. Now, I'm gonna do initial impressions. I might give y'all a wear test too, just so we can see how the stuff wears and if it wears better than other things. Some of these you have already seen, though, so. Let's get into it though. I think I have a couple of dupes that I don't have. It's one dupe that I do have. And I can't remember what the creator said it was supposed to be a dupe for. So hopefully I'll find that information when I get home and write in the description box down below. Because um, Stephanie said this product was a dupe for something else. And I remember watching it. But I didn't like write down what the thing was a dupe for. And I just grabbed the thing that it was supposed to be duping. But anyway, let me zoom in real quick and keep on. And let's get down to this. So, um... The first one I have to talk about, of course, y'all know, um, I did like three or four different creators dupes. And, of course, y'all know my girl Deanne Love Smith was going to be in here. So, I have these two eye dupes to talk about. So, of course, it's the Jaguar palette from the Wild Obsessions collection from Huda Beauty in 2022. This is one of my favorite a wild obsession sorry obsession collection from her and then i got this team of one from dion from when they sent it to her when she got to pick out stuff when she was doing videos for them and so she was like you should do it in a dupe video so i was like what better time than to put it in this dupe video so we're gonna start off with dion's plus i don't know if these um have fallout or not so that's another reason i want to start off with eyes because i'm like if it has fallout i want it to follow all over the face that we're gonna be getting done so i'll probably edit out some of the other parts like the foundation you've seen before you saw me review before but it's one of the newer foundations in my collection so i'm gonna go ahead and you know show it again i just won't obviously show myself blending it out that much and all that i'll just pop the video up in the cards so you can see you know that but yeah when she sent me this because she knows i have a thing about trying to find all the dupes in the planet all the dupes in the world all the dupes um she was like i'm gonna send you this palette when she had sent me some friend mail a while ago and i was like thank you i will use it now, I didn't use it right away because I feel like Dion sent me this like two months ago. But it was like I was um, trying to figure out how I wanted to do it because I didn't want to be one of those channels that does a lot of Timu um, content. But at the same time, um, I didn't want her to feel like I didn't appreciate it and, and didn't want to use it. So this video just came in the perfect timing for it. I actually have a, a two plan depending on how much you like this one because um, my girl Stephanie of Bad's Beauty had found some more dupes. And then um, this creator, her name is Jen. I think it's Jen Phelps. I think that's what it is. She was talking about, um, she talked about a lot of dupes on her channel the way I do on my channel. So I was like, and I feel like she, a good majority of the time, does that. And since she gets PR sent to her with all the dupes, I felt like maybe I could use some of hers in the second go round. So it's like, I'm going to have a second go round of this video most likely, depending on how much y'all like this one. And I wanted to, um, you know, something smoky eye most likely, because after this, I'm still going to have to, like, go and film three more eyeshadow palette videos my treasure what is it the treasure island palette came so let me show y'all close up so the colors don't look exactly the same as you can see this is a much redder brown than that one the shimmer shade at the bottom is the same it has some shades that are similar some that are so i'm interested to see how this is about to turn out y'all because like for example this is more mauve tone whereas the one i just showed y'all is more gray tone so i'm really interested to see how we about to turn out this look um so I'm going to take this shade right here and just start putting it into the crease. So the formula isn't bad on it, just some initial impressions. And it's actually quite pigmented, so I'm, you know, pretty impressed. Because in my mind it was like just going to be cheap like Wish makeup. If y'all remember Wish and um, apps like that, I just felt like it was going to be like that, like cheap Wish makeup or something. So I'm pleasantly surprised that at least it's blended out and have a, it has a decent amount of opacity to it. Now, this is much pinkier than the one I'm about to use. I feel like that one's going to be a lot more cool tone brown, if you will, because I'm going to take this shade that I feel like might somewhat match with it and use that one. Oh yeah, see this is much more cool tone, but I'm hoping if I use a light hand, it'll be like somewhat matching, if you will. That's why I'm using an extremely light hand. Okay, 
and I feel like it looks smoother on the eye but like I said it's a Timu product and I just think of them like I think a wish so I feel like it worked good for what it is that that's what I'm trying to say very politely it worked good for what it was but if I like you know had to buy it we both not gonna <laughs> next we got the black so I definitely have to see how the black works plus it's the darkest shade in here and you know y'all know me I gotta have some depth on the outer V so it's just it's just gonna have to see how it works I'm gonna try to pat and layer it as opposed to just do the normal blend I do because I feel like if I just do it the way I normally do it's not gonna give the opacity that is needed to get this eye look done and I feel like I can do that with hooders and I'll still get you know like a decent amount so I'll probably do hooders the way I normally do but y'all saw I packed a little bit more on here than I normally would to start off with before I started blending because I wanted to make sure I gave it that advantage since it is you know from a wish type of site and I don't really have faith in their type of makeup so it's turning out pretty well Again, that shade worked out better than I expected it to, too. So, so far, so good. It's, it's working out pretty nicely. I do like the fact that they put some more mauve s tones in here. Instead of just all cool, but you have to think how many hooded, how many mauve tones Huda has. She just came out with a cool max palette. And then she has the, um, what do you call it? The, um, the map of... Then she has the three, what is it, warm tone ones. Sorry, the three um, skin tone ones. What are the nude obsessions? The, the rich, the light, and the medium. So it's like, she, then she has the full blown palette, like naughty nude, and the other one. So it's like, she has quite a few palettes that are already nude. As you can see, this one's going on a whole lot more pigmented, just starting off with. Not that that one didn't, it's just, you know, like I'm doing my normal technique and I still feel like it looks just as pigmented as that side. So, I don't necessarily know how I feel about um, this dupe right now. Y'all, I want to let it wear for a little bit, see if, like, the shimmers crease or anything while I'm talking to y'all. See if, you know, the, um, see if the mattes start to fade, stuff like that. Because so far it's looking okay, but... You know, it's just not as easy to blend as hoodas, but and the colors are gonna be off. So it's like if you want true, if you want true color dupe, this one isn't gonna be it. We see that now, just from showing you all. Y'all saw like the colors weren't gonna match. I feel like they put mixed warm and cool tones in their palette, and hoodas stuck to more like true cool tones for once. Cause y'all know she normally does like warm and cool tones too. So I'm assuming maybe that's why they thought it'd be okay to do that. But, you know, I figure when you do, and sometimes you may not be looking that closely. Like, I'm a person who tries to pay a good amount of attention to detail, at least when it comes to my job. So, I'm like, I'm feeling like that's why they, uh, I mean, I feel like maybe that's why they didn't. What's the brush I'm supposed to be using for me? Oh, here it is. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm going to just go in with, well, I kind of want to go in with this one just to see if it's going to have the same coloring as... The other one, but I'm going to start off with the purple. So what I'll do is I'll, well, no, I'll just do a classic smoky eye, like I said. So I'll put this one toward the back and then this one toward the front. So start the back and out with this one. And it's giving like gunmetal smoky, if you will. So that's what the shimmer shade is looking like. I'm going to get over to Huda's side now and put on that same shade and see if it looks the same or if it looks different.
feel like hooded side looks more sheer and sparkly if you will whereas this one looks a little bit more like metallic you can see the sparkles in it but i feel like it just looks thicker on the lid like the shimmer has a thicker consistency to it so they look pretty close though which i'm kind of happy about because you know at least you can get a classic smoky i look out of it and they'll look the same so at least so far let's put this um more taupey gunmetal shade it's more brighter taupey gunmetal shade toward the front actually how that works out and then I guess we can stick both the purples in the inner corner. Okay. Now, hold up. So Huda's shade is definitely blowing away the competition. You can see way more sparkle and glitter. I feel like on this eye than you do on this eye. This just gives more of a metallic finish to it. The extra sparkles Huda put in it is what makes it look so nice and sparkly. But um, I feel like both the shades I chose as far as mattes go actually look really close in tone. So that's good because I didn't want it to look too far off and it'd be like super obvious which one is which. Let's get into this purple shade now. So. I'm going to just take the purple snake print one in the middle because the other one in here that's supposed to look purple like the other one isn't looking similar. So let's see. This shade actually looks pretty nice. But if I remember correctly, I think the one in Huda's palette has like a, a reflect to it. Whereas again, this is just more of like a metallic shade. Since these are some of my favorite um, palettes from her, I kind of have a, a little bit better memory of how you know stuff works in them but i swore this had reflective extra sparkle glitters in it and that's just a plain like metallic shade so yep i was right it's giving that extra sparkle metallic light out of all the other shimmers in this palette again so you can clearly see the difference in my inner corner how this one is sparkling and how this one is just a metallic so a lot of the shades that she has with the extra sparkle in it are just gonna be metallic in this one so if you don't like the extra sparkly fine metallic glitters you might be okay with this and if you like more of a warm cool tone mix then i feel like you would like this one better but i like the original of course but you know Dion gave us this cute little dupe to try out in the video and i say it works the battery is dying y'all so i'm gonna go ahead and clean up underneath here and then i'll come back with a new battery and then we can start off on the next thing Okay, be right back. Okay, I have returned. So, primer. We're going to use these Glow Recipe Niacinamide my Dew Drops. It's like um, skincare, but I've seen lots of people use it as like a dewy primer or a sticky primer, if you will. And then we have the Hello Good Stuff from um, Essence. So, a couple of people have actually told me about this product or I've watched talk about this product. So, Andrea Montanala was talking about this. As well as my girl, um, sorry, let me put it on the side with the real product. Stephanie or Bab Speedy here on YouTube. Both of them have talked about this product. So I was like, let me go ahead and do this one on camera. So I have a couple of people to attribute to this one. So we're going to start off on the Glow Recipe side because that's when I just put on my face. So I moisturize my face and I put on, um, what do you call it? eye creams and all that type of stuff but otherwise I didn't really like putting primer on because I know I had to do this video it feels nice and soft on the skin I can definitely feel the sticky grip to it when it comes to this I've used this product before I'll samples i've never bought like a full size of it just because i was like i wasn't necessarily crazy about you know the product but i got this free sample and when i had got another product so i was like i want to try the affordable one so it gave me a good reason to like get it so 
Ooh. I'm about to say what's going on. Like, why is it making this funny noise? So, I did three drops on that side. So I'm going to do three drops on this side. I bought a makeup removal wipe in here just so my hands won't be sticky with the other product. And we'll know how it truly feels. I don't have any remnants of um, the glow recipe I just put on. So just wipe my hand with a makeup removal wipe to make sure we're not rubbing the products together. This one definitely has like a candy watermelon smell to it. Whereas I feel like the um, Gold Recipe one has more of a refreshing watermelon smell. This just smells like watermelon candy that you buy at the store. Not that that's bad, so I'm not trying to say it's bad. It's just more of a that's the smell it's giving me. So if you like the Glow Recipe smell, just don't expect it to smell like that if you're trying to save some coins. But we're here to see if they do the same thing, so. Okay, it's giving a little bit of grip. I feel like I got a little bit more stickiness from the um, one from, what do you call it, um, Glow Recipe than I did from this one. But so far, they're both feeling really nice on the skin. They feel like they're hydrating pretty well. So, okay, Stephanie and Andrea, okay. Next, we're going to go into Jen Phelps dupe. So, if y'all remember, I did a whole video on this, which is why I said I can cut the video here because y'all saw me do a whole video dedicated to this and a wear test so we're not uh, really gonna talk too much about this i'll link the video above if you want to hear in more detail about this so we're gonna start off with what jen says is a dupe the crazy thing is one of y'all had asked me to get this a while ago and i had meant to get it and i just forgot to pick it up but you know whoop, thank god it fell on my leg and not on my outfit because y'all a lot of this only thing with this one is just don't expect the since I've tried it before, I can say you don't expect the coverage of this to be the same as the Makeup by Mario. Like, the Makeup by Mario has light coverage, but I feel like this coverage is even lighter than his. And, like, I feel like even when you try to build it up, it doesn't build up to what you wanted to or just what I wanted to. So, it disappointed me as far as that goes. But otherwise, like, they look the same on the skin or pretty close to the same on the skin. So, I was happy about that part of it. I'll write this foundation off my lid, y'all. So, yeah, I was happy in that regard because they were pretty on point let me get my foundation brushes out i grabbed two of every brush in my collection to make sure i had everything i needed so see what i'm saying like it's not gonna cover up any of these dark spots so it's fine if you have perfect skin to use this one but if you don't i feel like you would like to make a by mario one because it's going to give more coverage but i mean he's charging more so i feel like he should give more coverage like i feel like i could use a whole pump on my face just to use this one half of my face with those little pumps you saw me do just because you know it's not so that's what we're gonna do like honestly i'm not even gonna, gonna use two pumps on this side of my face just because i know that the coverage on this is lacking compared to the makeup by mario it does not give the same coverage by a long shot but for someone who would like a lighter coverage everyday foundation like your skin but better type vibe because i feel like that's a lot of what mario likes to go for then i feel like you would definitely like the Revlon one if you want even lighter coverage because Mario still gives decent coverage and it's like with my concealer tricks I can you know make that work for me but it's like if you just want really light coverage and you're on a budget I would definitely say go ahead and get the Revlon because the Revlon is going to meet that your skin but better need to a T because I put two pumps on my face and I guarantee you when we shear this out it's going to be hardly like any product still on my face and still not going to go cover that I'm wanting. But, you know, when my skin gets better and it looks nicer, then I'd be more prone to liking this one, the affordable one, because it would, you know, I would need to cover up all these dark spots and whatnot. But, you know, I'm working on them. I'm using my retinol and um, acid, acid and, you know, using a primer with SPF in it so I, you know, can help myself out a little bit. Because I'm a person who forgets to put on SPF, so I'm like, but I use a makeup SPF and then I buy a spray from Elf and maybe that'll help me, like, remember about SPF, but it's like, yeah. But here's what the face is looking like. As you can see, you can still see all the dark spots on my cheek that I was talking about. And I did, like, two pumps, y'all. And, and sorry, two and a half, if you count the little half I started off with. So that's what I'm saying about the coverage. Like, it's lacking. I'm not even going to promise you. It's lacking. Now I put on Mario. Sorry, let me. Now these two pumps I just pumped out are probably going to be too much because Mario's gives more coverage than this one and this side of my face doesn't have nearly as many issues as the first side. So I might just take off the top and scrape the rest of this back in here because the Mario one is like 30 something dollars whereas the Revlon one was 
I think under 20 bucks. It was like 15 99 or something at CVS. And I had a whole bunch of coupons that got it down to like, I think, 5 or $7. So, yeah, so let's put the rest of this back in here. Okay. Okay. Now, who likes the color of the red one? One looks a little bit better as far as match goes than the Makeup by Mario one. I have 21W and I think I have 500 from uh, red one. So, if you see a difference in color, I'm telling you that's why. Because um, I think I did the best match with red one than I did with Makeup by Mario. Which is crazy because there you actually have testers. But I just ordered it online and picked it up in store. So I think Andrea Renee said we wear a different shade than the one I grabbed. Though, and like that's why my color is a little bit off. But that's okay. I feel like it'll be fine with some of it here because it does look a little bit deeper. So okay, so here's the Mario one. As you can see, you don't see any dark marks on my face anywhere. But well, you can see the ones there. So I fly say Mario ones for me just because of the type of coverage I need. So I think Jen found a good dupe. I'm not gonna front. Like when I tried it out and they wore it and I put the rest of my face on, you could not tell the difference in the foundations when I got done with that whole situation. It was just more of like when it comes to initial application and how it lacks in coverage. But once I had put the concealers on and fixed everything, it was like almost identical. It was just, you can see more dark spots over here because it's lacking coverage here. But I did that on purpose so you could see that, you know, like, it is the sheer coverage foundation of the two. So I'm going to go off camera, put some concealer and stuff on. Then I'll come back and we'll do the under eye powder. Because Andrea Renee is the one who found this dupe for the under eye powder. Babs Beauty found the foundation one. I'm going to have to check on TikTok real quick and see if I can find it. The bronzer one was found by... Um, Jessica Braun, I believe her name is. I'm trying to remember who found the highlighter one because I had found that one a while ago, and it's from Revlon as well. And then the blush one was found by Jessica Braun too, and the lip one was found by um, Jen Phelps. So the last two or three are from different young ladies, but I'll be right back, okay? Okay, y'all, so I'll put the concealers on now. According to Andrea Renee, this matte setting powder from elf is supposed to be really similar to the pat mcgrath setting powder y'all know i love this powder this is one of my um go-to colors from underneath the eye especially because i love the tone of this color y'all know i love colors like this well the elf color is exactly the same let me see what's the name of this color i think it's called tan or something yeah the shade tan from elf and the matte as you can see it has a similar coloring as well so i was like okay well let's go see how this goes so I'll start off with the affordable side this time. So, I did a dupe with this a while ago when I did a video of all e.l.f. stuff. So, some of the things are older dupes, but I was like, I'll just go ahead and include them. So, I can get the video up for you all today. Because I didn't want to have to sit all day to watch videos of other people's videos. in order to, like, you know, get you the information you needed. So, I'm like, let me just go ahead and, you know, drop a couple of older ones in there that you might not have seen. Because I noticed... I'm getting newer viewers to the channel, so I was like, let me go ahead and drop some of these oldie but goodies in here, in addition to like some newer ones for us to have like a nice little sense of balance, if you will. So we're using the Elf one right now. On the affordable side, I took, took all the affordable stuff together and all the like, you know, high end stuff together. So that's what we're doing now. And as you can see, it looks nice and matte. It gives that nice color that I like on the face. I'm still trying to debate if I'm going to do an all-day, like, wear test situation or not. Because it's not like I haven't done that with some of these things before. But I'm thinking we might go ahead and do it. I'm going to start filming my eyeshadow palette collection at my house as well today. Because I filmed both the ones for here in my grandmother's house. But I'm like, we still need to get that one done, girl. Okay, so this will be working with when it comes to Elf. Y'all know Elf been killing the lady and been duping everybody. And their mom and their grandma and their cousin and their auntie, too. So... Lord, y'all, I tried to put the wrong top on top of it. I put the top of this, okay. Y'all understand the space I sit on has so much stuff sitting on it all the time. So I just be like, so I'm going to turn the sponge over to the clean side, and this is what we're going to use for the mother's side. But yeah, so I'm like, y'all got so many eyeshadow pads and stuff sitting around here, but Adrian gave over it's gone for two weeks. What is that? Now the school is out, 
So I'm like, every single day, I'm thinking about just coming and filming like one eyeshadow palette video till I get like all the videos that I want to get done. So then that way I can take all my palettes off. Because I'm tired of them just randomly sitting in the floor. The ones I'm going to do last and probably on the weekends will be the ones that have like, you know. As you can see, I feel like you already see that Mother's Powder is, I feel like, smoother on the skin. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like it just looks like it's giving a smoother look to the skin. So. But back to what I was saying, I was like, y'all don't understand. Like, there's so many palettes sitting in the floor that I could probably be using the home to get their own, like, eye looks and remind you of something. Or similar to other things. So I'm like, I want to get them done. But because I had to take Asian Game over to school every morning after, like, I get off work normally, it was, like, a struggle trying to get it done. And then when the weekend came, because I had to do all that stuff and never got enough sleep, I didn't have a chance to really, like, you know, do what I wanted to do. Oh, yes, definitely giving more smooth at least on the cheek now i feel like on the forehead it looks a little more powdery so i'm like i'm happy it's not i'm happy that my son's gone i'm just happy that i don't have to take him to school like i'd have been fine if he had just stayed with me and like you know i didn't have to go to school every day because y'all think i get off work at like 2 30 in the morning then i gotta get up at like what do you call it um two hours or three hours after i get off work and then go take somebody's food and then I gotta wake up randomly in the middle of the day to go pick them up and then an hour after I do that or half an hour after I pick them up from school I gotta start trying to get ready for work so it's like that's not a late hours worth of sleep so oh yeah I'm definitely like the way mother's side looks better I just feel like it's it's giving then again I could just be being biased because it's mother because I feel like this side just looks thin and I'm liking the brightness that I feel like I'm getting from mother's side this one to me looks a little bit dull and a little bit sheerer so if you like a lighter coverage powder, then you might like it better. Because to some people, this might look heavy. To me, this looks fine, but you know, it's a personal preference type thing. So we'll rank all of them at the end, though, so we can see which one we think is best. So I think that I'm up against this makeup forever. Grab my two little brushes as usual, and then we'll get into the foundations and the. I'm sorry, we'll get into the bronzers and the blushes and the highlighters, and then we'll talk about which ones I rank over which ones so we're gonna start off with the jcat dupe just rough it in on this side of the face then i'll take my hair down at the end and we'll talk about which ones are best and all that because i didn't want to take it down right away while i was putting on foundation and all the other stuff and the car could get my way and i have to put in the scrunchie and all that so that's mainly why i didn't take it down the way i normally have it down in videos because i have to put so much stuff on but you know Okay, it's, it's, I like this powder well enough. Let's see how it holds up against my makeup frame. So let's make sure. Now this is my original one, my Y505. This isn't my newer one that, um, they changed the number of tones to because, you know, they, um, added neutral tones that they didn't have in the past, so. Just bear that in mind. Like, they're not going to be the same because of that. But, you know. I feel like they look pretty even on both sides. Where was the other powder I just talked about? I felt like one looked light another one. I feel like they look both even on pretty sides. Okay. Okay, Stephanie. We'll see how this stuff wears throughout the day, though. But, you know, okay, okay, girl. I'm, I'm here for it. I'm going to start off with bronzer. Y'all know I like to do bronzer. Then I like to do blush. Then I like to do highlighter. So... According to Jessica Braun, um, I'm pretty sure it was Jessica Braun that this infallible highlighter is really similar to the um, tantalized one. It was her or um, Jen Phelps I said that, but y'all know I'm not really a huge fan of the um, tantalized from, what's it say, um, Mark Jacobs, you remember it? Mark Jacobs' beauty is supposed to be coming back though, according to um, what I saw on, what is it, um, Instagram. I'm going to start off with the L'Oreal bronzer, of course. Now, I told you all that I felt this was a dupe for the Jaclyn Hill bronzer, if you all remember. Because it has a similar formula to it, in my personal opinion. So, the fact that she thought this L'Oreal bronzer was really similar to a drug, to a, a high-end, or I guess you can maybe consider Marc Jacobs luxury brand, I thought was interesting. Then again, I don't use the... um. Mark Jacobs bronzer that often because like I told y'all I'm not a huge fan like people had talked about it forever and raved about how wonderful it was and I finally got it I was like what are y'all bragging about like 
what's supposed to make this so wonderful again? Did I miss it? Like, I'm trying to understand why y'all just acting like this is the best thing to slice bread. I like the way the eye look is coming together now that we have put on, you know, some more of the face. Because when it first um, tried it out, you know, like, y'all y'all know it was looking rough, child. I was like, Ooh, honey, I don't, mm, I don't know. But, you know, it's, you know, cleared up pretty nicely. Um, but, or it's shaping up to look much nicer than I expected it to look when we first started off. Y'all, I should have grabbed the lip liner out of the bathroom so that way we'd have one to put the lips on with. But yeah, so here's L'Oreal we'll be working with. It looks nice and bronze. I really love this L'Oreal one. I actually have like quite the little dip in it. This is one of my favorite like drugstore bronzes if y'all can see the nice little dip I have in it. And I'm feeling like I'm going to like their blushes really nice too. I gave y'all a video on those yesterday. Now I'm just going to see this Marc Jacobs bronzer. First of all, I feel like it doesn't have as much depth as the L'Oreal one does just starting off. I feel like the L'Oreal one is deeper in tone. So that's the first one. That's the first thing I have to touch on. And I only have, I think, like the, t the deep one. They have one after that one. It's called Dark. So drugs are already doing better than Marc Jacobs because they have more shades and it took him forever to come out with my shade. Yeah, I didn't forget that. Um. So... The formulas don't feel similar to me. I actually like the way the L'Oreal formula feels better. And the fact that I feel like I have to keep going over just to get the same depth that I got with the L'Oreal one. I feel like it's saying something. Y'all can comment down below. I do feel like the um, Marc Jacobs almost looks smoother on the face than the um, L'Oreal one. But I mean in all fairness, it should for the price he charges people. I'm just saying to um jessica braun as well like these blushes in here in this hourglass palette are supposed to be really similar to these essence blushes so i figure we'll just go with the lightest shades we're gonna go with like the um i feel like it's predictable to go with the berry one so i'm gonna go with the lighter one but the colors do look pretty similar i feel like the berry and the hourglass one is deeper than this berry though just slightly maybe like by that much but I feel like the coral ones look more similar and I want us to get like a true coloring. So as you can see, I feel like these two look much more similar than the other two I just showed you. Yeah. So that's what we're going to go with. So we're going to start off with the Essence one. Only thing is I feel like they don't give that much blush. Like it doesn't um, show up that much. But I mean like I guess it's supposed to be like lightly pigmented blush if you will. Because see as you can see you can barely like see that on my cheeks yeah, I feel like you barely see this on my cheeks I don't know. he focused thank you you barely see this blush on my cheek and I feel like it just kind of looks like a ashyish wannabe type cast if you will whenever I do put it on so with blushes like these I always feel like I need to put like a a top of a cream blush I feel like this is supposed to be like the poor man's affordable version of the Rosy Glow Blush is from, excuse me, Dior. But it's like it doesn't even give enough as much pigmentation as they do. So that's what's disappointing about this. me. It's like you're not even giving the pigmentation those gifts. Like I feel like I have to pick up quite a bit just to get it to show up. And in both shades too, not just like it's just this one. Like in both shades. And I, I feel like the berry one would be easier to do. But like no. Like I feel like I have to pile and pile both of these on. So this isn't necessarily my preferred blush formula. But since I had both of them and she was saying that they were good alternatives for each other. I was like I'll go ahead and try them out. But I'm not impressed with either one. We're going to take the hourglass one now and put it on. And then we're going to take one of these hourglass highlighters. Because um, somebody told me a while ago that they were a good alternative. I want to say it was again Stephanie or Babs Beauty here on YouTube that said that. Don't quote me though so. Is up here i feel like the hourglass one is giving easier um pigmentation on the face and it is giving more pigmentation but again for the price of the hourglass charge it better be showing up and it better not be difficult i feel like it looked patchy and it was difficult to put on this side when it came to the essence one so i'm not necessarily a huge fan but i don't like these very lightly pigmented blushes so i with blushes like this i will always put like a cream underneath it but for the sake of the video i'm just using what they 
say it was supposed to be similar. So I like the Hourglass one better. Y'all know I don't really like Hourglass. I just feel like this one isn't as pigmented and it looks kind of choppy. But I mean like $4, I feel like on a lighter skin tone it might look better than it does on me. <laughs> but when I do want stuff like this, I would just stick to the Hourglass ones. Okay, let's get to the highlighter. So we're going to use this highlighter right here. It's supposed to be similar to this highlighter. Um, these are the highlighters that... Um, they actually got made in um, Italy to try to keep up with, you know, their competition because y'all know Brett gonna be slacking and lacking in my personal opinion anyway. So let's get to this highlight and see how it looks. It definitely has that sparkly, glittery like effect to it, if you will. I'm gonna put some on a little half of my cupid's bow. Down the middle of the nose, I think I'm just going to honestly do the um, hourglass because I don't want to have to try to halfway go down the nose and all that. That's just a lot of, a lot of work I don't want to put in. So, just half the chin, just half the cupid's bow. And put the remainder back on the cheek. And this is what we're working when it comes to the highlighter. I feel like you hardly see it on the cheek, but you see it more toward the bottom of my face. But this is one I actually um, really like. This is one of my favorite drugstore highlighters when it comes to wanting to have that bougie, glittery ass look and not like spend a whole bunch of money. I would definitely recommend this. And like I said, I feel like my girl Stephanie, your bad beauty, talked about that one as well. So and I'll be the only ones that have found a dupe, y'all. Other people be out here. So this is just an example of that. So we can go down the middle of the face and start off with the hourglass one. It's definitely giving the like glow from within type vibe when it comes to theirs. I don't feel like it's giving the glitter bomb that the um, Revlon is giving, but I like both of them for different reasons. So it just the hourglass just seems to give them more set and like glow from within going on, whereas because um, Revlon is more affordable, I guess that's why they had to go for the cheaper route and do like the glitter particles, if you will. But I'm not mad at the Revlon one, like. Or the price point of it and you know the fact it was made in Italy and I feel like they took time and effort into making it I'm not mad for Revlon one at all so Revlon Hourglass I feel like we can both see which one gave the most pigmentation but again it is from the drugstore so that's something you have to keep in mind it's not going to do the exact same thing some things do do the exact same thing they're far and few though I need to go spray my face real quick, y'all, and I forgot to bring some spray in here, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to go grab a lip liner and put it on, and then we'll come back and end with the lips, and then we can talk about which ones we thought performed better than others and all that good stuff there. Be right back. Okay, y'all, we got the hair down. We put, we have sprayed the face and all that. Put my lip liner on. So let's get to it. So I have these two lipsticks. This one is in the shade Toasty. This is from Flower Beauty. It's supposed to be a dupe for these um, lip plumping lipsticks from Tarte. I have the shade peachy beige this is my favorite one i didn't get to get primrose during the 21 days of beauty sale that's how i ended up trying these out but i did get this one in poppy so we're going to start off with the tart one i think i saw andrea montanalo as well as sorry no it was jennifer braun as well as what do you call it um Jen Phelps talking about this. So I was like, hmm, because I didn't even know that um, Flower Beauty once existed. So, Tarte, as you can see, it looks amazing. I'm interested to see how this shade is going to work out because the first shade I bought, it didn't really have any sort of pigmentation or color to it. It just went really sheer on the lips. So I want to see how well this um, Flower Beauty one is going to go. And the shade Toasty, I believe I said. Yeah. So hopefully this will match up nicely. Y'all see it? Yeah, I definitely feel like the um, tart ones look wetter and they do more plumping automatically. I feel like it's going to take a little while for this to plump. So let's talk about all the other stuff on my face and back up a little bit and see how 
they working out in my opinion so if i think they're good enough dupes or not so we'll start off with dion's of course because i'm gonna start off with the way i did my face so with the eyes y'all know this is dion's side and this is the original side so the eyes i'm feeling like if you like a more metallic lid as opposed to a sparkly glittery shadow then you might not then you might like this one better than you like the original but the colors are going to be off in here so if you like more warm tone cool tone and you don't mind it being metallic and not necessarily the sparkly glitter that you get with um the original huda then i think you would like this palette but y'all know i love huda and i love all my sparkles and extra so i prefer the original but so it is somewhat of a dupe it's just not a dupe i feel like it's as good as the original and you know they not they aren't always as good as the original so there's that then let's get into the primer i think it's behind me oh yeah so the two primers we tried out so these two i actually feel like they both felt about the same did about the same the glow recipe side felt like that much more stickier but otherwise i feel like andrea and stephanie were pretty much on point andrea being andrea montanalo because y'all know we did a part with andrea renee too but andrea montanalo and babs beauty i feel like these are pretty good dupes so I would say um, if you um, aren't concerned about having a super sticky primer, you can go ahead with the Essence ones like they said and it'll be fine. But if you want it to be a little more sticky, then you should probably just spend the extra cash and go with the Glow Recipe. Then the foundations. Again, both the foundations are because of Jen Phelps. Now, when it comes to foundations, I'm like, I like Mario for the coverage. But I feel like this does a good job if you don't want as much coverage. So I'd say they're pretty close in dupes. I feel like my color match on this one is better. I have the shade, I'm sorry, I have 505 Rich Sand instead of 500, like I said. And then I have 21W for Mario. So I feel like if you want less coverage and you're on a budget, you would definitely prefer the Revlon over the makeup by Mario. But because I want more coverage at this time, because I have all these dark spots and stuff that I want the makeup to cover up, I feel like the Revlon isn't doing it for me. But the formulas on them are pretty spot on and matched. So if it comes to a formula match, definitely. It's just I prefer more coverage. So I'd say Jen did a good job with this dude next we're gonna go into the powders so when it comes to these powders sorry the wrong way i personally like the um pat mcgrath one better i just feel like it gives a little bit more coverage when it comes to the powder i feel like this one was a little bit sheer but again if you're one of those um your skin with better makeup girls so do like to do no makeup makeup days i feel like you're like the elf one that andrea renee recommended better than the pat mcgrath one i'm a full coverage full um glam beat type girl so that's why i like the pat mcgrath better but i feel like it's definitely a good alternative if you're on in the mood for a budget product because at least you can go to um the store and get a good majority of the things i just named except for the timu palette you can go to the store and pick up the essence I believe because the essence is in store at Ulta. You can go pick the Revlon up at CVS. That's where I got mine. And you can pick the Elf up at CVS because that's where I got mine. I don't remember if they have Elf in store at, um, wait, no, they do have Elf in store at Ulta. So you might be able to find that powder at Ulta. I ordered that powder off Elf's website though, just side note. Next powder we have to talk about or these two. Now, I'm not 100% that it was this one. I feel like it was this one though and that's why I didn't pack another powder. I really feel like it was this one. Don't quote me though because I could be wrong but I do like this powder okay. I feel like it did, gave good coverage and y'all know I love this powder. I have two of the original one and then I have one of the new ones. So that tells you how much I love this powder. So I definitely feel like um this is a good drugstore affordable powder. Again, um I don't think you can buy this at a drugstore though. That's the only downside. So if you had a pinch in an emergency and you want to go pick up a drugstore powder, it couldn't be this one. You'd have to pick up the e.l.f. Camo powder which Andrea Montanalo says is a good dupe for the Fenty powder. I'm going to do that in the second video I do but I feel like this is a really good powder and I would recommend it to you. I don't know if I think it's just as good as this. We're going to have to wear it for the rest of the day and see but you know for right now um, I do like this powder so I'd, I'd say it's a good powder. I just can't say I necessarily agree that it's a exact dupe for that powder but then again like I told y'all I couldn't remember if it was actually supposed to be a dupe for that powder or another one so just keep that part in mind. Next we have these two now i think that the l'oreal one is way more pigmented than this one but i feel like the marc jacobs one is smoother on the skin than the um l'oreal one but i don't see them as dupes because it's like how's the drugstore give me more pigmentation than this and then when the drugstore comes out with it they have more colors than this one automatically so i'm not necessarily seeing the dupe so 
I'm not, I hate to say, I don't agree with Jessica on this one. I'm sorry, I just don't. Now, if you want to do for the Jaclyn Hill one, I definitely think the L'Oreal one is a good do for the Jaclyn Hill one. Just keep in mind that all the L'Oreal products seem to have a perfumey smell to them because they're trying to give, I guess, the luxury vibe with what they're selling. Let's get into these, um, all these powder products. I'm going to just show the highlighter and the blush together because they're both in the same palette. So, basically, all these are supposed to be used for Hourglass products. Now, I personally disagree with Jessica Braun when it comes to the blushes. I mean, yeah, they have the same type of coloring, if you will, but I don't feel like they give the same amount of opacity when it comes to putting the product on. These are definitely much more sheerer than the Hourglass ones, but then again, Hourglass is charging you more, so I feel like they should be giving more. So, I don't agree with Jessica when it comes to these either. However, I do review with my girl Stephanie or Babs Beauty on here on YouTube when it comes to the highlighter. This highlighter, I do feel like, is a good alternative to the Hourglass one. As long as you don't mind having that glittery effect, because as you all saw when I put it on, it definitely showed glitter particles in this, whereas I feel like the Hourglass one that's on this side definitely gave a more smooth, like, satiny, glow from within effect. So if you don't mind having a little bit of glitter particles going along with it, then I feel like this could be a good alternative for you. So I would agree with Stephanie on that. Last one we have to talk about is one on our lips. Let me zoom y'all in real quick again to see if it plumped up any bigger. Okay, so it's starting to get there. I still feel like the um, plumping on the tart one is a little bit more, obviously. But again, they're charging more, so it should be more. But I can definitely see a difference. I don't know if you all can, but it definitely seems like this one is a little bit bigger than this side. So as far as the plumping goes, tart wins with that. When it comes to the color, I feel like both the colors are pretty similar, though. So it's like if you just want to put a clear plumping gloss on top of this one that you already own to give a little bit more plump to it then I'd say okay so I can't say that these are necessarily a dupe either like um what do you call it um Jen Phelps said just because I don't feel like it's giving enough plumping on this side that the tart has given but it might take a little bit longer to give than that so like uh, I'll tell you all later on tonight if I feel like it plumped up higher after I um you know did uh sat here for a while but I don't have to sit here for 5 10 to 15 minutes to see how much more is gonna plump but i hope you all enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful i wanted to like give y'all some dupes that i hadn't necessarily shown and a couple of ones that i had to um pay homage to some other content creators who do dupes like i do because y'all know i love doing a dupe but i'm not the only one who does them and sometimes people help me find dupes too so those are some dupes that people help me find you can comment down below and tell me which one you like the best i personally liked the hourglass highlighter one the best the um foundation one from jen phelps and the primer one from um, Andrea Montanalo and um, Step of oh, Babs Beauty. So comment down below and tell me which ones your favorite ones were. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Remember you all in dimes. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be blessed, girl. Bye.